all right now welcome to the next video um very big jump here um from welcome with cubes and spheres and all of a sudden now there's a car um but the reason i've, I've um opened up this car file is a uh, it's actually something that i've done um right before i graduated my undergrad um bachelor's degree at, at scad atlanta um <clears throat> but i opened it because i wanted to show you just Welcome with those tools that I've shown you so far, you can actually create something that is as complicated as this. Now, this leads us into our next our next um, topic, which is talking about image planes. Um, visualizing something like this can be quite daunting at first. However, um, it's not impossible. But it does make it a lot easier if you have pictures that can kind of help you get there. So, what an image plane is, is basically an image that you can import into Maya, and it kind of sits there. You can have a front image, you can have a side image, you can have a top image, and they all kind of line up with each other. And that way, when you're making something in 3D space now, you can go to the side image and say, okay, I can tell the shape here, so let me fix it up from this side. And then you come back to your front image and say okay well this corner matches up with this corner right here and then you come to your top image and say okay that corner matches up to this corner right here so using your three different images you can actually make things fairly quickly and then in the 3D viewport here you can detail it and refine it and make it look more polished so I'm actually just going to open up a new file and um, when you're working with your image planes it's important to know that Put importing an image into your perspective window is probably not what you want. Um, on the on the left side here, you have different views. Now, if you're on a laptop or if your screen doesn't actually show all of these views, um, then you can also reach these views by if you come up to this pan news menu right here, and then you come down to saved layouts. We're just going to go to four view. We click on that. All of a sudden now our perspective window is a lot smaller. It's here. But we also have these other three windows. Okay? And you can see the label. It's very it's kinda hard to see, but it's saying here this is the top view. Um this is our front view and this is our side view. Now we can also tell by when we're clicking on the on the camera, the viewport, we can also see the view cube is letting us know, okay, this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the right view. And this is our perspective. So the idea is to import images so we can have a, a, a picture here for the top view that matches up with the front view, that matches up with the side view. And that way we can work on our object in 3D space by still coming here and referencing the individual sides individually and seeing the effect happen in 3D space. Okay, so in the next video, we're actually going to look into importing images and setting them up.